Welcome to KNX tutorial 12. In this tutorial, we are we are going to cover office lighting. So the task is to maintain 500 lux in an office environment. So how are we going to achieve that? Uh, and what device we're going to use for that is uh, we're going to use uh, ABB Presence Mini Premium Detector. The part number is 6131 slash 21 uh, Okay, let's go to the programming. So we're going to change, we're going to delete this. Uh, I'm going to add an office here. Let's change this to 12. And let's add an area. office it's just for the logo uh, the icon is look like office but it doesn't matter what icon you use so the PIR is 613121 I'll add this here and then let's go to the parameters So what we need here is we're gonna this sensor we gonna use it as a constant light controller. So what we want is to achieve 500 lux all the time if there is a movement in the office area. Okay, so. The bottom limit, the bottom limit is zero percent when there is, when we can change this to a certain level, like a ten percent or something. Sometimes the people think like, why the lights is not coming on. Uh, uh, to stop that, why then you can change it to certain level. But um, in here, in this, my concern is more the power consumption so i'm going to leave it as a zero percent and the upper limit is 100 percent the controls say start at 50 percent and speed is control speed is 10 minutes uh, this one is 10 minutes is fine uh, we can change that to less as well uh, five minutes um, what does happen is if you got switches uh, working parallel to the PIR then this time this 10 minutes sometimes cause problem but uh, we will we don't need to worry about that leave it 10 minutes 10 minutes is fine and I'll change this to 500 lux and light on time is five minutes you can increase that uh, office environment if it's a big office there five six if it's one or two person there i will change it probably uh, 30 minutes it depends how many pirs are there and what is the coverage uh, so you don't want people sitting in the dark either at the same time you don't want the light to be on for a really long time at the same time uh, and if you look at the group objects so this is the one which we need to link with the dimming channel one byte value and then you see this PIR automatic slash memory of relative dimming and value so if in case uh, you got an office where you got the PIR which is maintaining 500 lux uh, someone think okay 500 lux is not enough and they want the light to be turned on 100 percent they send 100 percent value to this object it will disable PIR for one minute uh, for one hour and the light will stay on 100 percent after one hour the PIR will kick in again 
and the relative doing the same way when they use any object other other device like keypad uh, to increase the dimming then this will automatically disable the PIR for a while and then later on after one hour it will the PIR will kick in again and automatic off if you want to turn off the light uh, you just press off it will turn off the light and it will disable the PIR for one hour okay so let's do let's go to the group uh, objects so that light will change this to office lighting office lighting and what we got here is right right this this should be office lighting set PIR office lighting PIR so we will link all the dimming value object to this uh, office lighting PIR output and then we got uh, PIR we got a PIR automatic slash manual half and I'm not gonna do I don't I'm not connecting the others object just this two will be enough for the moment so Okay, it's just because previously I connect one one bit object to this group address and it give that error, uh, and then manual one. So let's suppose what's this is automatic off uh, is really important. It's really important to use this one. If someone walk into the office, uh, the PIR will turn on the light at fifty percent. We can if we see here this is the PIR will turn on the light at 50% then it will calculate what the lux level is if it's above 500 lux then it will start decreasing uh, the percentage value to 49 48 47 like that and that's speed like it will take up to 10 minutes to complete that process so it will either turn it off or if it's like the brightness outside is really high so it will turn it up to zero percent but if someone walk into the office the lights come on at 50 percent the lux level is somewhere about 300 or something like 350 then it will increase the lighting one by one by one like one degree by one and it will go up to until it reach to 500 it will be keep increasing it now in a case if someone walk in to go and turn out the lights or there is any blinds or something and they walk in the PIR come on at 50 percent and the process begin and that process will continue for 10 minutes and when he is going out he want to turn off the lights there is a switch he press that switch the light goes off if he haven't connect this object then the light will come on again because the PIR in the process of uh, maintaining 500 lux which the process will end in 10 minutes so that's why this is really important to link this object if there is another override button uh, for the PIR so that was that's really important uh, and then 
if you turn off the switches you link this as well with the, that from if you turn off the light from the switch you link this object as well with that switch then the PIR will get disabled for an hour and then if someone walk uh, if someone walking around inside that hour the PIR will do nothing but after that hour PIR will get activated and start working uh, exactly the same how it uh, is supposed to be okay uh, that's it for this video uh, so thanks for watching please don't forget to give me your feedback uh, and it's always helpful to receive positive feedback from you guys which make me uh, which give me a bit of motivation to make some more videos uh, thank you so thank you so much for watching